If you've been to the movies recently, you might have noticed that deafness is having a moment. In 2021, there were deaf characters in four big movies, including a horror sequel, a superhero epic, a coming of age story, and Godzilla vs. Kong. It seems extraordinary, but what's striking about these movies is how ordinary they portray deafness. Most of the time, it's simply not a big deal. Eternals, for example, is a Marvel comic book movie where one of the characters is deaf. But nobody cares because what's interesting about her is that she's super fast. Deafness is a secondary characteristic. It's almost mundane. This trend has been building for a few years now. There were hard of hearing characters in major releases like Baby Driver, Sound of Metal, and Creed. Can I ask you something personal? Mm -hmm. I got progressive hearing loss. Just started wearing these this past year, but I only need them in place of a lot of background noise for now. So it's progressive, so eventually. Yeah. But it wasn't always this yeah. way. Deafness used to be rare on screen. And when there was a deaf character, it was often a famous person like Beethoven. Or Helen Keller. What is it, a game? An alphabet. Alphabet? For the deaf. Deafness was the focus of these movies and deafness was portrayed first and foremost as a disability. Don't be afraid. You watch me talk. But the deaf characters always had help. They usually had a teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Miss Dunn. These yes. teachers could always hear and they could always speak. So they served as a bridge between the deaf characters and the audience. But that worked both ways. It implied that deaf people needed the teacher. They needed someone to guide them through the world of sound. Now, if, if you let me, I bet I could teach you how to speak. And you could teach me, but I don't want to mop the floor. Gee, that was quick. And... You don't want to speak. Brilliant. A lot of time, the teacher became the main character. So the story wasn't really about deafness. It was about someone who could hear, growing as a person, by working with the deaf. On a personal note, I would like to dedicate this song to my son, Cole. That's changed. Deafness is no longer treated like a plot device. In today's movies, deaf characters are part of the world. Deafness is just part of the world. That's why we're seeing more deaf characters than ever before. You can hear? Yes. But she's deaf? Yes. The push for diversity and inclusion is part of this trend, but I think there's more to it than that. Filmmakers are beginning to realize that there's power in silence. In our modern world of screens and sounds and constant distraction, the ability to tune out the noise can be seen as a blessing. But even more than that, there's something wonderfully visual about sign language. 
Movies are supposed to be visual. They're supposed to communicate through action instead of dialogue. Sign language is like pure cinema. It's expressive and exciting. And in some ways, it's almost universal. A century after the heyday of silent cinema, Hollywood has relearned that sometimes signing can say more than speaking. How do you feel when you sing? I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> 